We don't need to be reactionaries. We Muslims need to be proactive. Study your enemy. Study yourself. Read Quran. Understand the Quran. Understand the manner of the Prophet ﷺ because as a non-Muslim said to his son, there was a program on the television in the UK where a Muslim from Europe was talking with his father. And his father said to him, son, listen, I don't mind you to be a Muslim if that's what you want to do, but why do you have to wear all of those funny kinds of clothes? Why do you have to wear this beard? Why do you have to do this and do so? The son said to him, listen, father, I don't tell you how to dress. This dress I'm wearing is the dress of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I love him. And I'm wearing lihya because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to wear it and I love it. And I'm a Muslim and I love Islam. And I love Islam more, Father, than I love you. He's talking on the television. So his father said to him, okay, but if you want to do that, why are you telling me that you want to go and move from here and go to Syria or Pakistan or go and live in uh, Jordan or you want to live in Saudi Arabia? Why do you want to do that? The son said, because I want to save my children from the fitna of this land which we are living in. And what did the father say to his son? Subhanallah. He said, son, don't you see? You don't have to go any place soon. The land where we are living at will all be Muslim. A non-Muslim father said that to his son. This was his observation that the way things are going, his father said, you don't have to move anywhere. Soon, Islam will become the dominant religion anyway. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has spoken the truth. And his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was sadiq al masduq he has spoken the truth. O oh, Muslims, we are fortunate to be Muslims in this time. We are fortunate to be Muslims under these times and circumstances. And Allah is going to ask us about what he has given us and the responsibility he has placed in our hands.